Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, your boy Virtus here and welcome back to the Unreal Engine 4 side scroller series. In today's video we are going to be working on another player ability and the player ability that we're going to be working on is pretty much giving the player some extra boosts, some extra, pretty much making them jump a little bit higher than normal. So as of right now they have a tiny little jump but we are actually going to have obstacles in the game which are a bit too high for the player to normally jump over. So they're going to have to use this high jump to get over it. And it's just going to be on the ability bar on the left hand side just as normal and we are going to be setting things up just like the past ability where we actually set up the speed boost. Now if you guys haven't seen the last video already where we set all of that stuff up I definitely advise you check it out and watch how we do it. But anyway without further ado let's go ahead and dive into it. So the first thing that I want to do is actually get the image, get the ability image imported into the engine. It's quite simple once again all we've got to do is go to import and then all we got to do is go into our folder where we've got all of the resources. If you don't have the latest version of the resources, go ahead and go over to my website and you can download it there. The file that we're looking for is called AB Gravity and that's it. Just go ahead and import it into the content browser just like that. Now what we want to do is we want to go ahead and open up our heads up display. And once again, we're just going to be putting an image onto the heads up display. So drag that in there and then we are going to go ahead and set the brush image to gravity so go ahead and do that and in terms of the size we want this to be exactly the same as the size of the other image so go ahead and get the size x just copy that and then paste it into here as well and then do the same thing for size y and that way you have completely identical images well not identical images but identical in terms of size so if we go ahead and chuck this in here now that is looking good if we press play you can now see we've got our two abilities on the left hand side of the screen and that is looking pretty awesome. So we actually need to set up a button for the player to be able to press to activate these abilities. So just like before we're going into project settings and give it a second to load up and when it does load up we want to scroll down and find input. So just give that a second and then go down to input and then create another action mapping and this time we are going to call this um, speed boost, not speed boost, gravity boost. So gravity boost and the key that we're actually going to be using this for is number two. So go ahead and scroll down, select two. Now the reason why we're using one and two for these and going down is just to make it for the easier easier for the player to understand. So the first ability so the first ability on their screen is going to be number one, second ability is going to be number two, third ability is not going to be number three, four, and so on. And also later on in the series, we're also going to be putting some little numbers next to these so they know which button to press to activate which ability. Anyway, with that ability set up, go ahead and close this and open up your side scroller character. And we've got to set up this stuff for the action mapping now. So, add the input for the gravity boost, right click and type in gravity and then you should have our motion events here. So, it's not going to come up here. So, let's have a look what we've got. There we go, action events, gravity boost. Make sure you don't select any of the other ones. It's this one here with the pressed events that we need. From this, what we need to do is a couple of things. First things first, we need to see whether or not the player actually has enough fuel to activate it. So drag it out and then just add in a branch node. From this branch, we need to check um, whether or not the, the float for the player fuel is above or equal to or greater than that value. So we need to type in float and it's greater than or equal that we're after. There you are. And then we need to get a reference to player fuel, get that, and then just chuck it into the top one. And then in the second one, we need to set this to whatever amount that we want this ability to use. For me, I'm just going to set this to 0.1, just like the other ability. Next up, what we need to do is we need to go ahead and set the player fuel to actually take some of it away. So, set player fuel, and then we're just going to do float minus float and then it's going to be player fuel once again hooked up into here whoops and then we are just going to take away 0.1 and that's perfect and now this is where we actually go ahead and do all of the things where we actually set the boost so what we're going to do is we're going to get a reference to the character movement as this is what actually controls and lets you change the value for the gravity so I'm gonna, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this out and I'm going to set gravity scale 
and then I'm just going to hook this up here. So if we take a look at it, if we hover over it, it should tell us, well normally it would tell me, that the current value is 2 for the gravity scale. So if we put the number up to something like 5, they're not going to be able to jump very high, and if we go down below 2, it's going to be jumping higher. Or we set it to 0, it's going to have no gravity at all, and when the player just jumps, it's going to go up and up and up. So let's go ahead and test this. So I'm going to set the gravity to 0 for now. I'm going to go ahead and pick up a little pick up here, and then I try and jump, it's normal for now, but if I press 2, you can now see the player is jumping, it's going up and up and up, and it's going to keep doing that forever. So, what I've got to do is I've got to go in here, and then I've got to pretty much change around this value to get the right sort of, you know, jump boost that I'm after. So for me, I'm going to go ahead and set this to 1, and see what happens. And you can see now, the current value is 2, you know, that's just the default value, so I'm going to go for basically double jump. So if I press play, and then I, and then I jump when I press 2, you can see he jumps twice as high, and that is brilliant. That is exactly what we are after. So, we don't want this effect to be permanent, so what we've got to do is set a little delay, and then tell it to, you know, just set it back to normal, and the normal value is going to be 2. So add in this delay, set the duration to 5 seconds, so the player has 5 seconds of that jump, and I'm also going to put in a quick little print string here, just so the player knows it's been activated. So what I'm going to do, is type in gravity boost, duration 5 seconds in the delay, and then after this, all we're doing is getting another reference to character movement, and then we are just going to set the gravity scale to 2, and that will set it back to normal. So let's go ahead and give this a go. And that is perfect, and one last thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to add in another print string, and this print string is just going to say it's ended, you, you know, you're now back to normal. So I'm just going to type that in, normal, and then I'm going to go ahead and compile it, and now let's go ahead and press play and we can test all of this. So normal jump is working fine, pick this little item up, press 2, it says gravity boost, and now I can jump twice as high, and that is looking good, and after a couple of seconds it goes back to normal, and I'm only doing a tiny little jump. Anyway, that is pretty much everything for that video, guys. I hope you guys are really enjoying like the abilities that I'm working on. There is so much more cool stuff on the way. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Stay awesome. Keep creating. Your boy Virtus, signing out.